Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section We'll just learn the design of a spiral column Based on ACI codes Remember from the previous three lectures We have learned the design of a square tie column Also we have learned the design of a circular tie column Here our approach will be just a spiral column A round column with spiral right Here in spiral column design, just remember a nice thing, right? I mean, we'll do nothing just in calculation for column size. Also, we'll not do calculation for main steel bars. Because the determination of column size and calculation for longitude and bar is just the same that we have done for given tight circular column in the previous lectures. I mean, if we are gonna design a spiral column, I'll do nothing for diameter calculation, which is the size of column. And no calculation will be just required for AST or for main steel area. To learn the size of column and calculation for AST, you just need to watch the previous three lectures. Here I'll do only calculation for spiral, right, in this column. Let me show you a few uh, screenshots of those lecture, right? Look at this example. We were asked to calculate just the circular tie column. In this tie column, we have already calculated, look at the size of this column, right? Where here the diameter is just 20.5 inches. And this is another screenshot. We did little calculation for AST and for number of main bars. Also, we learned how to calculate the tie selection or do the tie selection and the spacing of tie. And then at the last we did just the detailing check, right? So we'll not waste our time in calculation of column size and calculation of uh, main steel area, right? We'll just do the spiral calculation. So let's do it, right? And uh, remember, I just recommend you to watch those lectures first. And let's come to spiral design now. I'll just do an example, right? And this is example one. We are just asked to design spiral for given column. If FC prime equals 4 KSI, if Y equals 60 KSI, and the column is here. Concrete cover is just 1.5 inches, and the diameter is 20.5 inches, and the main steel are 11 and number seven. All things are given and nothing is just complicated. I'll just come straight into design solution. Remember, in the previous lectures, we have learned about the design capacity. Uh, that's why a few friends just asked about the, uh, these guys, the alpha and theta. Remember, in the previous lectures, for tie column, those, these things were just little different. In per spiral, we have the theta equals 0.75 and the alpha equals 0.85 according to ACI codes, right? Let me just calculate the grass cross-section area of the given column. And the grass area of the column is just equal to AG equals pi d squared divided by 4. Because this is just a circle, right? You can also use the formula pi r square. Plug and check in, we can get the diameter is just 20.5 inches. So pi times 20.5 inches square divided by 4, you can get 330 square inches is AG. Then I just want to calculate the cover diameter. I just subtract uh, uh, two times concrete cover from the uh, external diameter, right? And the external diameter is just 20.5 inches. So subtract two times concrete cover. One time for one side and one time for another side. So we can get the cover diameter equals 17.5 inches. Also, I just want to uh, calculate the area of the cover. And for area of the cover, I'll use the cover diameter. And the formula will be just the same, pi d squared divided by 4. But that diameter will be just the cover diameter, right? So plug and check in, just put the value of 17.5 inches in place of dc. We can get pi times 17.5 squared divided by 4. So the cover area is just 240.53 square inches. Now, if you, you know about all these things, the spiral calculation is quite simple and straightforward. I'll just do the spiral reinforcement ratio, right? 
and uh, maybe the sign is known by psi right so the psi per spiral we know about a nice formula over here 0.45 pi ag divided by ac negative one times fc prime divided by fy fc prime is just the concrete strength fy is just the strength of the steel so plug and chug in we can get of course the spiral ratio r psi equals uh, 0.45 times ag ag is just over here 330 just put this guy in this equation divided by ac ac is also over here 240.53 negative 1 fc prime is just 4 ksi divided by 60 which is fy if you do little mathematics with this guy of course you can get psi equals 0 0.011 blah 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 now this spiral ratio will just help me finding the pitch right which is just the distance between two turns of the spiral and this is of course our approach right so my approach is to calculate the pitch of the spiral and by spiral pitch i can use of course the minimum reinforcement ratio equals 4s times dc negative db divided by sd square this formula can give me the pitch right and where is the pitch look at the s the small s represent the pitch but in this formula s is unknown dc and db all these things are known right and the s is just the spiral area right so uh, let me call this equation as equation one because there are some things missing over here let me do uh, pass the spiral size selection over here right uh say the spiral i'll use number three but why number three over here remember according to aci requirements for spiral the spiral may not have diameter just less than three over eight inches right it means number three bar or larger will be used also just remember the clear spacing of the spiral must be just between one and three inches it means the clear pitch just keep these guys in mind right this will help us a little late okay now if you know about all these things the calculation for s is quite simple which is the pitch right if i just change the place of pitch with reinforcement ratio of course i can get s equals i mean uh, just change the places of this psi with this uh, pitch i can get of course s equals in this form four times area of spiral times core diameter negative di bar divided by psi d square now just put all values in this equation we can get of course s equals four times as what do you say about as remember area of steel uh, must be just uh, the area of spiral right and the spiral diameter was just 3 over 8 I mean the spiral was number 3 so the diameter must be 3 over 8 inches and the area of uh, number 3 bar is just of course 0 0.11 square inches times BC was just 17.5 negative 3 over 8 inches because it was number 3 bar divided by the psi what's the psi now remember this thing was just calculated a few minutes ago let me take a screenshot update guy right over here this one the spiral ratio was just 0.0111591 so i'll plug this guy over here in this equation times b square the diameter is just over here 20.5 inches so plug this guy over here too if you do little mathematics with this guy of course you can get 1.606 inches i'll say use the pitch equals two inches and remember according to aci 318 the clear spacing which means the clear pitch must be from one to three inches and of course this is between those guys so we are okay we're here and this is called the spiral design at the spiral column design right just watch the next lecture to design the single reinforced concrete beam
but that just wait see you next time and wassalam